corporate Australia is walking away from fossil fuel. What we need for stability of the grid is investment certainty. Voters want a clear plan to help them transition to a clean energy future. For the first time, miners have ranked ESG and decarbonisation as the top two risks and opportunities they're facing as they head into 2022. The challenge that we face globally is to reduce emissions down to zero as quickly as we can. 80% of the emissions causing climate change comes from the energy sector. And in a way, as a world, we are kind of locked in economically uh, and globally into this kind of a carbon-based uh, economic order that we've created. Extricating ourselves from that is not going to be straightforward. Our ultimate goal is to develop a clean energy system which is reliable and cheaper than the current energy system. The transition to a clean energy future is unstoppable. Uh, whether it's capital markets moving, whether it's investors, whether it's consumers, everyone is moving in this direction. We need to uh, the decrease our production carbon footprint. The new currency will be whether or not your products are carbon efficient. All, most of the uh, carbon footprint coming from the mining or smelting uh, process. So making our steel, our coal, our exports made in the most carbon efficient way will give us a competitive advantage in things like manufacturing, in traditional industries. And we are the best at mining and agriculture in the world. So I see this huge opportunity for a decarbonised economy to be a frontier economy for Australia. Never before in human history have we taken a large scale energy source out of the system. Uh, but the power system would have to stabilise the demand and supply. Uh, to deal with the intermittency of renewable energy is certainly a challenge. We are seeing a major energy security problem. The challenges associated with both tackling climate change, but also making sure that there's secure energy, certainly some of the greatest challenges that we're going to be confronting in the 21st century. In Europe it is uh, Russian uh, gas, but in the past, we have also seen similar energy security problems when it came to oil, as it was concentrated on a very few number of uh, countries. The fossil fuel is located in uh, the special area and not uh, widely spread in the world. However, the hydrogen can be produced from anything, from water, from fossil fuels, from the coal. It's better to have a number of different countries being able to produce them and supply them. And as a number of Indo-Pacific countries do have that potential to be able to supply critical minerals and also help the world in realizing uh, the clean energy transition.